Hey, what's up everyone? Happy single de Mayo. I hope you guys are having a good time drinking, partying, celebrating, being with family, or just staying home and playing Clash all day like I am. My name is Andy, aka Top Ramen, back again with another brand new Clash Royale video. This time, uh, 2v2 Clan Battle is back. I am bringing a deck that I'm having a lot of fun with, and now it's involving the newest card, which is Heal. And uh, Heal in team battles is so good because your Heal affects your partners and your own, and I have Mirror, which is a higher level Heal, and heals them up. All my units are able to withstand Fireball, so if they Fireball any of my units, they're able to heal up to full. I have Tornado, Executioner for defense, Lightning for defense as well, and um, and if they're able to like uh, like push through and you defend, like I have to battle them as winning condition, so I can heal them up and uh, and whatever our partner is doing, able to push through. So I'm I've been having a lot of fun. Uh, let me see here if anybody's wanting to join. You know what? I'm gonna show some replays first. So uh, my first couple replays is pretty fun. Uh, I want to show off the power of tornado and heal actually. And these two are now my favorite cards. They're both spells. They don't do any direct damage to the tower, but they are so valuable, so worth it for its mana cost, uh, elixir cost. Wow, mana cost. Too much magic. The, uh, the gathering by the way so right off the bat uh, my partner he plays a musketeer so I knew to play a knight in front of it to tank for it and I, it shows here that I have lightning in hand so I was gonna plan to lightning the pump and the uh, royal giant so I went ahead and did that but they play a mus uh, three musketeers so the push is now uh, countered but my partner fireball the way the musketeer so he's low HP on the left side I use my executioner to defend against the musketeer at night and it's about to get uh, beaten down but my partner plays the goblin gang and they zap it down and now both teams are now way out of elixir and we defended both sides pretty well except we have to lead so we said well played to each other all right I'm gonna hide this right now because it's taking up space all right so they play a tombstone um, I forgot what I did here I think they played something all right I wanted to tornado that uh, hog to the center instead of my partner played the lumberjack so what I did instead of playing wasting tornado, I played my executioner, but I played it in front where the lumberjack pushed way up ahead so fast. I healed up that group of uh, push units, even though the executioner is tanking, and I was able to just do some sick damage. And then the tower finally took it out. But now you have a lumberjack that died and raged up the giant. The giant's punching down that, that tower, and that tower goes down to 961. More than half its tower is gone. Oh. Crazy counter push, finally I have my tornado, I tornado, what does my partner do as soon as I tornado, he fireballs. And keep in mind, we're not in the same room, we're not like talking on team speak or ventrilo, it's just he saw what my deck consists of and he has a fireball, he knew, he knew that was synergy, and so as soon as I will cast a tornado, he will fireball. And by the way, Kinetics is my clan member, also my longtime good friend, known him for 20 years in real life, yeah, okay. So right away, we counter right- oh, they fireballed his musketeer, I try to save his musketeer with a heal, it tanks for, us, uh, tanks for us, gets 3 shots off on the tower, I play the battering ram, the executioner, the giant, and now we have a really sick push, I mirror my heal, he logs us, but too, too bad, the barbs that comes out are full HP and they're getting healed up, I tornado everything to the center, and as soon as I tornado, my partner fireballed again, so quick thinking there Stanford, sick play, sick plays. Alright, so the Royal Giant is going to try to take us down, we basically try to form a counter push, Log comes out, I'm going to heal up again, and with that bowler and everything, and the, he cannot kill our units before our units heal up, because most of our units are way able to withstand uh, an fireball. So right here I healed them up, right? And they almost took out our push, guess what? Two units left, I healed those up, minions and execution alone with the rage, brought their king's tower down to 219. I lightning my partner fireball and it was game over. They didn't expect those two units to be able to do that, do that much damage because they thought they were going to die but a heal is so OP in team battle. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys one more replay with this heal spell and this combo of the uh, tornado execution mirror and then after that I'll jump in. It's still with kinetics uh, aka Stanford. Um, 
I forgot. In the beginning, I feel like I think I dropped a tank or he did something. Uh, let me see. Alright, he dropped the tank. So I dropped the executioner right in behind him. So uh, they responded with a tank as well. And so I'm waiting here. I think I'm trying to prepare my battering ram. Uh, I, I ignored the Dark Goblin, but my partner, he, he uses minions to defend. Right here, I want to lightning all three of those. So I play my battering ram, and I get ready. So I did try lightning, but he plays a bowler, and so it saved his musketeer. And now I feel like, oh my god, this this push is going to uh, lead to a crazy counter push right here. I So I tornado everything together. As soon as I tornado, they casted the E-Wiz, and Stanford fireballed and destroyed everything in there. Probably like 4 for 16 elixir trade right there. And my executioner is still able to get one axe uh, wing off. So now we have the lead. Um, tornado and fireball. Oh, it's so much synergy. It's all about synergy when you climb battle. Alright, so we're both recharging elixir here. Um, my partner throws the giant in the back. So I throw a knight in the front because I don't want the uh, dragon and the princess to lock on. I drop my mega minion on the baby dragon and take it out right away. Uh, partner drops the a goblin gang to try to take out the uh, princess. It does not. So I believe I dropped my execute. Oh, my partner logs, but my executioner is backing him up right here. So I heal up my giant and my knight. I have my executioner clearing out the scar me. They get tornado together. So I tornado them in front of the tower so that that way my arc executioner attacks them and hopefully hits the tower as well. And I believe it does right here. Gets one hit on the tower, another hit on the tower, and every time it does that, it's 250 damage. All right, so he counter push. He throws dark prince in front. I throw my knight to deal with that. My partner throws a lumberjack to deal with the bowler. Very good play there. And again, we're not talking to each other. We're just looking at our cards and just playing accordingly. So I believe I get rid of the witch here. I lightning her out, and then it was a good time because he drops a giant to back her back her up. But he, she's gone now. Partner logs away the dark goblin, and now um, oh they lightning the way the must. But I drop I drop my executioner and able to deal with the uh, goblin gang and the giant pretty well and right here i believe there's a tank that gets dropped in front yeah my battery ram plus my partner's tank and i heal them up so they're full hp even though they get tornado i tornado them straight in front of the tower just so that my executioner can get a straight shot and my partner just fireballs and pretty much that synergy was too much for them to handle and we win that battle so give this deck a try it's so much fun you can even plan ahead with your partner and just see what cards work well but it so happens that my partner's deck had a giant tank for my battering ram he had fireball uh he had a lot of things that synergizes and that's what i love about 2v2 and i know supercell is going to make a competitive 2v2 tournament eventually all right so with just that i'm gonna go ahead and jump into battle um here let's go ahead climb battle and see who I get. I have three clan members on. Two of them are. So no one else is on. So I'm just gonna. You know what? I'm gonna throw in another replay. This time it's again uh, with someone else different. It's with my uh, new partner, Petty. And he's probably like a 3,500 player. And um, he plays three musketeer. But this deck is insane with the uh, uh, three musketeer. And you'll see why. Cheers. So they play um, Princess Golem. I play a knight expecting, because you can look at their, your partner's hand by hitting the icon that's by their name. So I saw what he had, so I wanted to play the knight because I expected his archers. I play my battery ram to the left just to force them to waste elixir, which worked out perfectly because they wait, wasted 5 elixir on the left. Partner plays uh, 3 musketeers and a um, uh, miner. I went ahead and just dropped my executioner and tornado and everything. Look at that defense. And guess what? They fireballed our units, but I healed up the musketeer, I healed up my own executioner, and then he drops barbarian right in front to tank for them. So he logs them again, guess what? I have mirror. I, I heal them up again, they log again. My partner rages. So happens that he has rage, and just like that, that tower is gone. Oh my gosh, it's so fun, so funny. 2v2, anything can happen, it's just ridiculous. So we're like way ahead in lead, uh, it's been only 1 minute and 20 seconds in the game and we already did half damage to the left tower, took out one other tower and we only lost 500 HP. 
my partner drove, throws a giant in the back, so I decided to drop my uh, knight to the right just to uh, you know, give a uh, map presence so that our right doesn't get pushed too hard. And it worked out fine because it's going to tank the flame spirits. Now we have two push going and they wasted a lot of elixir. So I dropped my battering ram, my partner dropped the archer, and then right here they dropped a, a, a minion horde. Um, I believe I didn't have enough elixir to uh, tornado, so I dropped my executioner to deal with the uh, miner. But they made the mistake of dropping another minion horde, so I just tornado them all to one pile, and then my partner raged my executioner, <laughs> and they just got melted like purple rain, like their elixir just dropped down. So executioner with the giant push, uh, I believe. Uh, they did fit in pretty well because they distracted my executioner with the ice golem and the skarmage just killed him out So that was really good um, He drops a hog uh, My partner drops a cannon to distract I drop a mega minion to finish it off and then it's gonna finish off the miner right here I tore I drop my executioner I tornado that whole defense right there together And I believe it was able to take it out then he fireball so I guess what I, I did I healed them up and now I have a a uh, almost full HP execution. Actually, it got knocked out of the heal, by the way. Uh, but the execution is still doing work at half HP, and <laughs> it was able to get rid of two minion horde, which is ten elixir value. I drop my battering ram. My partner drops a three musketeer on their side, and pretty much rages everything. And game over. This deck is so fun, especially when you get matched up to the right person. Uh, but for me, I made this deck just so that I could queue up and match up with anybody out of my 50 clan members. And I've been having a lot of fun with it. Alright, let's see if anybody's playing clan battle. If no one else is playing, okay, they're both still in it. So I'm going to show one more replay and probably end it from there. So that was one replay against uh, the... Um, where am I? Okay. So that was one replay against... Uh this deck right here so I'm gonna show one more replay it's gonna be against the no no it was against the golem so I'm gonna show one more replay against darker again it's with Pete this time or Petty also known as Pete and basically I, let me sh check out our hands here so mine has a mega minion and spell so most likely I'm gonna play mega minion so I was waiting for him to play his giant because I could look at his hand but he was gonna play the pump first I believe yeah so he played the pump and then this baited out a spell right here for sure. Of course you're gonna lightning the Mega Minion and the Pump. So they did, which is okay. So uh, I dropped a knight to uh, to tank for the princess and then I think my partner... Uh, I mirrored that knight uh, to take out the E-Wiz and then they, uh, they used Graveyard so I had to use Battering Ram to defend. So it's gonna create two more barbs and I have two tanks already counter pushing, right? Now there's four barbs, my partner drops a giant right in front and guess what happens here? They drop an executioner, so what? They get a log us, I tornado them close to my barb so they get killed and I heal them up to full and then my partner rages them. Yeah, they pull them back with tornado but I still have almost like 80% <laughs> HP barbarians going towards the tower and able to take it out. Insane. He drops the E-Wiz, able to take out the giant and all the barbarians except for one but that's okay, we already took out the tower but we did lose more, uh, about half HP on both our towers. So we just gotta play defense now. Let me see what I got now. Okay, so my partner drops three musk on their side just to get some damage. And then they of course fireballed it. So they got a lot of value out of it. They spent four to defend nine. So now we're, we, we're way behind. Um, I played my executioner behind my knight and then it got lightning in the way. So I went ahead and lightning out his uh, E-Wiz uh, e just so that my knight can get a couple hits off and it did, it got one or two. And then they wasted a zap as well. So it was very worth it for me to lightning. I spent six to get her out to four, but I draw the zap so it was even, but I got hits off on the tower. I dropped my mega minion to take them out. Uh, my partner drops barbarians to wipe out the uh, Royal Jam pretty easily. And then I wanted to heal the barbarian, expecting that I was going to go ahead and push ahead. Instead, it went back to defend against the uh, uh, graveyard. So that was my mistake there. It was really bad. And then, of course, Executioner and uh, Tornado is one of the best defense. So I was able to defend against our push pretty well. But instead, I now draw all their units together with my Executioner. And then my partner drops three Musketeers. So now they all went ahead and kill them off. And then they at least got one shot off. And my, uh, my uh, giant, my partner's giant got one shot off and then zapped them away. So with 20 seconds left, I just need to defend against that tower. I threw my Mega Minion in the back. 
he went and uh, they went ahead and dropped the Royal Giant. So perfect counter was Cannon and Barbarians, which they did. I dropped another Mega Minion and Mirror did. And then after that, I believe I went ahead and dropped, uh, healed up that group right there. Heal. Yeah. But it was over already. So yeah. 2v2 is so much fun. If you guys are very active in 2v2 with your clan members, give this deck a try. Uh, the heal card is so effective, especially when because you can heal your units as well as your partners. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, good luck this weekend. And we'll definitely see you guys next weekend for the um, Crown Championship Tournament that's going on for Phase 1. I'm gonna try to get the day off from work and try to live stream every single match on YouTube or Twitch. I'll announce it more on my Facebook page. Uh, if you guys haven't visited my Facebook page yet, it's uh, Top Ramen YT. Just search it on Facebook and go ahead and follow me there. And uh, yeah, I'll definitely bring you guys more content. So this is Top Ramen signing out. Peace.